Okay, G Money, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut your bifocal lenses for your Versace, what model number is this? 3167, size 53, color GB1. This is your classic black and gold Versace with the lion print on it, the classic Versace lion head. First things first, I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses and trace your Italian frame. And coincidentally, in my Italian edger, this is a Santinelli LE1000, which will be cutting your Versace frame. So the stylus is tracing your left lens. It is going to go over and trace your right lens so I know what size, what shape lens to cut your lens. And you pre-ordered it with a gradient tint, sunglass tint. So I need to be able to cut this down to fit into there. So I'm going to Put in, pull up your shape on the computer, type in your pupillary distance, your near pupillary distance of 67. This will be cut at 17 high, so I'm going to go 4 below. I'm setting it at 21, and I'm going to lower it 4 millimeters from the 180 horizon. This is a plastic lens because of the tinting, and it's being cut for a plastic frame. So, let me pull out your lens. That is your left lens. This is your right lens. And I'm going to line it up. I need to put a block on there to hold it in place while it is cutting. So I'm going to attach a double-sided sticker to your lens. And let me line this up. I apologize. This is the one thing you can't see is I block it. But I just got to get everything lined up perfectly. And there we go. Put that there. Put another sticker on there. Line up your left lens, get that optical center just perfect where it's supposed to go. Put that on there. Now I'm going to put your lens into the chuck. Hello, chuck. Essentially, it is a lathe. This is going to come down and trace the shape of your lens to make sure it is large enough to cut out for this frame, which it should. Now, the actual cutting wheel is down here at the bottom. It is on the left. It is like a heavy grit sandpaper, and it's going to grind away most of your lens this wheel in the center with the channel on it that's actually what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the frame this whole process should take about 15 minutes it is now 8 11 on monday february 17th and 42 degrees in my hometown according to my samsung gear watch it is going to get loud in a moment so i'll have to close the door and i have to because of the water let's see if i can turn that down a little bit that water so it's not so much doesn't splash as bad but it's actually on the cutting wheel now plastic cuts wet the polycarbonate cuts dry now you get all the accoutrements you get the Versace box you get the Versace white leather case mm, I wish you could smell how good that Italian leather you get the card of authenticity, a little bit of junk mail from Versace, and there it is. You get your Versace cleaning cloth, and I will include instructions on how to make your case and cleaning cloth last you for years, but I'll tell you now, should this white leather ever get dirty, just use a little bit of a wet washcloth with some dish soap like Dove or Palm Olive, and just wipe that off. It should clean up rather easily. Same for the cleaning cloth, use the same dish soap to rinse it out about once a month whenever you see it getting dirty. Just wash it in the kitchen sink with dish soap, rinse it out, and then just let it air dry on a dish towel on the counter or a paper towel. But they dry within a few hours, these microfiber cleaning cloths, and it's good for anything optical grade from camera lenses to computer screens, TV screens. Let's see, what else? Telescopes, microscopes. <laughs> All that stuff. CDs, tablets, DVDs, and on rare occasions, people use them on their glasses, believe it or not. Just remember to periodically clean your cloth, because eventually you're just cleaning with a dirty cloth. And of course, being black, it's hard to tell when it is dirty. But your glasses will fit inside this case. And it's good to hang on to this outer box, because it makes for great presents when you wrap them up and people unwrap it and they see the Versace and think, hey! I'm getting some Versace when really it's probably just little candy bars on the inside, which is okay with me too. So, who doesn't like a fun-sized candy bar? 
So that is the shape of your lens. I'm going to test it in just a moment and it's very real chance it's still too large to fit into the frame. I always start a little bit larger and then cut it down to fit. You can always cut more off. The golden rule of carpentry, you can never add back onto something you've already cut off. So, this is a beautiful Versace. It's got the gold trim place right on top. Beautiful, beautiful frame. You did very well. I know you saw this somewhere else and you got them from me because you get the standard free prescription lenses, but you upgraded to a line style bifocal, which is a little bit out of pocket. Then of course, $20 for this tint because you told me that you were light sensitive and you wanted something to block as much glare as possible when you're sitting around the casino because you're a high roller. Now what I'm doing here, there's still a little bit of rough edges on the lenses. So I'm going to my hand stone and I'm going around and I'm smoothing off any rough edges that are there. Let me dry this lens off so it's not slippery. It's embarrassing when I drop a lens on live TV. It does happen. That's why I'm not going to let you see me do it. So I start at the outside corner and try and tuck it in to see if it'll fit. It does not. I'm going to need to cut some more off. So I'm going to take about a tenth of a millimeter off. Now, just like before, this is not going to go to the grinding wheel, but to the the handstone to grind some more of that off. Let me dry this off so you can watch as it goes down and goes round and round. Now your prescription, this will give you a chance to talk. It's not too bad. Most of it is actually in the reading. Your right eye reads minus 75 minus 1 at 105. And I blocked out your name. I'm calling you G Money for this exercise. Your left eye is minus 75 minus 75 at 175 with three diopters of additional plus for reading. Now, if you need a reading glasses, this is where I make my high school algebra teacher happy. Of course, back then I said, I'll never use algebra at my job. You have to algebraically add these together. You're at minus 75 in both eyes, but you need three diopters for reading. So you add these together, minus 75 and three, that gives you plus two and a quarter. That is the actual reading glasses you will need if you want to buy something over the counter. Now they don't correct for your astigmatism. This is gonna make things much clearer. But in a pinch, if you need reading glasses to read the menu, probably about a two and a quarter. Now with your computer, subtract a little bit of that, probably about a 175 to a two to see clearly the computer. Let me dry your lens off again. And now I will try again to mount your lens into the frame. I start at the outside corner then push down at the nose. Of course, it's being slippery again. All right, some more needs to come off. So I'm gonna take another tenth of a millimeter. The right lens takes the longest. Once I get the size right, I can cut your left lens rather quickly. So, your distance correction, minus 75, minus one at 105. Everything is in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, one, and so on. So you need three steps of correction to minify. Without your glasses on, things are actually too large. So this first number, minus 75, shrinks everything down and minimizes get to the correct size that it really is. The second box is the astigmatism correction. You need four steps there. So this first box gets everything the right size. The second box takes away the fuzzy edges. And this last number, 105, just tells us where to fine tune that knob to take away the fuzzy edges. If you remember the old days, the old analog car radios that had the red light when you're up in the mountains driving around, or if you're getting far away, you go around a curve, that red light starts to flicker and you get a little static. You turn that knob, which is essentially like your astigmatism correction, to fine tune everything to get it nice and clear. That is what we are doing with your astigmatism correction. <coughs> and there is a stigma over the word astigmatism. Everyone freaks out when they hear that word. It is not a disease. It is not an affliction. It just means shape. Someone has straight hair. Someone has curly hair like me, although I got most of it cut off this weekend. <coughs> Excuse me, a little dust here. Again, I start at the outside corner and pop your lens in. The right lens is done. Let me flip it over and cut the left. So that's going to flip over and that is going to trace the shape of the, the frame for your left lens. Now we've seen all this before, so I'm going to go ahead and keep working on your right lens, double check the prescription. Hopefully it will be all done when we come back.
I need to take the block off the lens, so this is called de-blocking. Pull off the little adhesive sticker. And force of habit, I always check to make sure the line is straight. I have a little graph here. Pull that up to the light. <coughs> Do I have a water bottle here? No, I don't. I'm going to have to tough it out. Okay, so I put this into my Marco 101 lensometer. Spin the axis wheel to 105. Spin the power drum to the sphere comes in correctly, and that is at minus 75. I spin an additional diopter to check the astigmatism correction, the cross curve. That checks out perfect. And now you can see the gradient tint. This side is clear. This one has the tint because you mentioned you are light sensitive. There's $20 worth of tint for you. How's that? How's that? Now, years from now, when you need <coughs> new prescription lenses, I can mail you just the lenses and you can mount them into the frame. All right, I gotta have water here somewhere. Put my mug back and back to work. <clears throat> so the left lens is cutting now. I'm just going to make sure everything is lined up perfectly for your left lens. I'm going to do one more step, then get everything boxed up and shipped out to you. And of course, free shipping anywhere in the United States. <clears throat> because here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, I can't say this enough, everybody loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You are getting one of the best lenses made with one of the best scratch coatings. So these should last you for years and years with no problems. So what you say to that G money? I bet no one has called you G-Money in a while, if ever, but hey, there's a first time for everything, girl. Because you're a high roller from way back in the day. Uh, this, is, this ain't nothing new for you, girl. <clears throat> the lens is almost done cutting. The bevel is going on there. And in just a moment, we'll make sure it fits. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. I have got a little tickle in my throat. You can let me dry this off so I don't drop it. <coughs> Remind me to dust this lab. <coughs> Nothing like live TV. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. That pops in. <clears throat> Deblock the lens, dry this off, make sure everything lines up perfectly, which it does. Measure the pupillary distance of 67. Hopefully you can see that measure 67. <clears throat> the height of the bifocals at 17 millimeters. That checks out perfect. Now I'll spin the axis wheel to 175. Put your lens in, find the optical center, and pull up the power. I'm getting minus 75. Check your astigmatism correction. Another 75 would give me a total power of 150. I'm going to clean your lenses off. And then I'm going to do one more step before I box everything up and get it shipped to you. And that is I want to get everything in standard alignment. Which means I put it on the counter. Make sure it is sitting level when I press on each temple. That it is. Everything lines up closely. I'm going to get this boxed up. Now, should you need any adjustments, 99% of every optical shop does free adjustments. If it's too tight, if it's too loose, if it's crooked or sitting high on one side, just tell the optician on duty and they'll know exactly what to do. So, G Money, of course, at the end of the video, I'm going to call you Gloria, just so you know uh, who I'm talking, ab talking about. But I hope you like your... Versace 3167 size 53 color GB1 and glory I hope you enjoyed watching your glasses being made and hopefully you can see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses thank you <laughs>